global investor or a businessman coming to India for investing, you'll be coming across a lot of legislations, some difficult ones as well. That is why we are here with FEMA, Foreign Exchange Management Act 1992. In this video, we will be talking about certain provisions of this act, penalties, and the economic impact it had. First of all, what is foreign exchange? In layman terms, it means exchanging your currency, country's currency, with someone else. Going on to the background, before FEMA, there existed FEMA, Foreign Exchange Regulation Act of 1973. Now, this act was very strange. Also, it aimed to regulate the foreign exchange in the country, it hindered the economic growth and the foreign investment in the country. And that is that. That is that the government is forced to come up with the FEMA. Now, apart from this reason, there are certain other reasons behind it as well. One was that the country in 1990 was going with some policy changes. It was coming up with the LPG policy, globalization, privatization, etc. And now, the legislation also has to be in line with that. Now, certain economic reasons were also forcing us to take the step. India was really lacking in the foreign exchanges and employment as well. That's why the government was forced to pass this act. Talking about the provisions under this act, we need to know that RBI regulates a lot in this act. Under the section 47, the RBI has made for, uh, 23 point regulations which regulate this act. Apart from that, the enforcement directive, ED, is empowered to conduct investigations if the provisions of this act are violated. Furthermore, Section 46 empowers the finance ministry to come up with rules and regulations for the management of this act. Now coming on to the economic impact this act has had. It has just revolutionized everything. India is a developing country and it needs employment. For that, we need foreign direct investment. And any country will come to our country only when the situation is such that the government is favoring them. And that is all. After the passing of this act, the foreign direct investment, foreign portfolio investment has significantly increased. Now, coming on to the economic impact this act had. Firstly, India is a developing country. It needs its people to be employed. With coming of this act, the environment for the investors became friendly. They felt safe to come and invest in our country. Therefore, the foreign direct investment and the foreign portfolio investment increased. And that is what we as a country want. Now, this act is not just a legislation. It is a strategy of the, of the government of, of India to call for investment in the country. Coming into the conclusion, this act is really a very transparent act. This act was really the need of us at that time. It has transformed how foreign investments happen in India. And it has actually increased the foreign exchange that we always used to worry about earlier times. Therefore, this act has a very positive impact. Not that there is no scope for changes and improvements, but we will look into, look into it ahead.